Hey guys, this is Natasha with A Day with Ethel Vlog. So I'm going to do something a little different. I've read three books by this author and it's her second chance series. Yes, they can be read as standalone, but I wanted those that if a, an author kind of has a series going, why are you not reading this series? Because the series are one of those things that make everything whole because maybe those series have a little bit of something, something of each book. So book one is reawakening his heart. And this is one of those stories that you start out and you're like, whoa, what did I just read here? Because this is not, this is an emotional book. And I was like, this is supposed to be second chances. But it was. We have Brayden. Brayden is a fireman. Brayden is a sexy alpha fireman. And he loses his wife. And it's one of those things where it was happened so unexpectedly. Now he's kind of on this downward spiral of not doing right. Like he's a wild man right now and he needs to get his shit together in his life. So he's leaving one of his best friend's house and he happens to become, he happens upon an accident and an accident that it's just, it, it rattles him to his core. Here's this beautiful woman named Riley that is in this mangled mess and he's determined to get her out. And then he sits there and he gets her to the hospital and he sees that she really has no visitors and she kind of just on her own. And, but there's like this, this like emotional, physical connection he has towards her and he needs to go be with her. And he ends up kind of like being there for her, being her friend. And then these two end up kind of getting into this friendship that turns into a little bit more, into a little bit more. And then they find out that he honestly, this is the first time he's truly deeply soul in love with somebody. And Riley's his soulmate. And Riley feels the same. Riley has to overcome a lot of her personal demons of like she, her parents pretty much abandon her. Even though she has a brother that she's really close to, her parents didn't give two fucks about her. I didn't say it out loud, you can just read my lips. And it's one of those things that is just kind of, it breaks your heart, I mean, as a parent to see that. And so, and she has a successful business and you know, Brayden's gonna do anything to be there for her. But it's hard for him because he's kind of a dick at times. But I understand why he's kind of a dick at times. And so you kind of have this love hate relationship but then you just you devour his times with her because he really is has some beautiful words to say like he is a poet and it's it's beautiful how he says it and Riley really starts to see um, see that and she's gonna do anything to be there and I like how these two kind of rediscover themselves and the book ends and it's kind of sad because Brayden's brother this is where book two comes in. In book one, you get his brother. And you know, him and his brother have not been good. Um, his brother was a cop and got arrested for drugs. And he was mad at his brother. And while Braden was in the hospital, um, some stuff comes to light in his life about his brother. And now Gage is maybe not as bad as he thought he was, his brother was. So here's book two of reclaiming his life in the second chance series. So I, Gage is hardcore. Gage got into the wrong crowd, but he is also doing something for his job. And I don't want to go into details because I really want you guys to read it because his story is kind of like leading up to his, his past makes his future. And that's kind of beautiful how these, how, um, Gage kind of works his life and he goes to prison. He he pays for his sins. Like he pays for his sins. And now he's out in prison and he needs to get his life back together. So he goes back to something he falls upon. His best friend, who's his lawyer, said, Hey, I can probably get you a security job at this club. He starts working security at this club and the feds show up. The feds need his help. Mind you, he was a cop once. Need his help protecting this really beautiful dancer and this dancer is um, she has a past that she's not ready to give all the details to but Gage is kind of gonna protect her but her not knowing it so in the background he's kind of been there watching her but these two start a connection and then they start a friendship and then it leads into some more and it really is it's kind of kind of one of those awestruck moments how 
this um, gauge hike breaks down his barriers and he lets this little pint sized person into his life and it's just one of those things this is what like a oh, second chance is is because um, he's getting a second chance to start over again um, he'll never be a cop again but it's a second chance at you know at getting a job um, finding love and seeing that his brother and him kind of have to work through their obstacles in life and um, it's one of those like I just I got hooked like literally hooked with this storyline because I saw how heartbroken Gage is with his brother not there but then he's also pig-headed about it too and so it's kind of one of those you know double-edged store how he really is getting his life back but then he also needs um, he needs love and he needs someone to finally kind of like be his person and I think that's why I like this book and again this book kind of adds in you know we get Riley's brother in this Jackson and his wife Rosie and their cute little baby Penny and you kind of start like mending the pieces together and um, he Gage and Lex have to go to well he can't go he goes to Houston to deal with some stuff and you know these guys kind of bond this relationship and again something happens these books never end on a cliffy but it gives you a little morsel of book three now book three had me sobbing like the first couple chapters because i feel jackson's pain um you know in the first book you know you know that jackson's always been there for riley in the second book he was there for gage and Lex why they try to get their um, help her out with her mom and he's just a good cowboy um, and I understand that I grew up you know with those good cowboys I still have them in my life my dad and my brothers and cousins and uncles and everybody my best friends they just they have a heart of gold and family is the foremost and most important thing and Jackson's family is tragically lost and it's you'll read it in the book and you just your your part breaks for what Jackson goes through but your heart breaks for Riley the sister as she's trying to like get her brother back but Jackson now uh, while he's in his coma there's one person a voice in his head and the person that's kind of been there when he's doing this healing um, and Destiny's there and Destiny is his physical therapist and she's determined to get him back um, Jackson's hardcore he's mean he's gruff his words are can be hateful but as he says them he instantly retracts them he's like I should not have said that and so he has to overcome his bitterness to his life that he's been dealt now because he doesn't have his perfect family and everything that happened with it it's all crumbled and he has to build his life back up and um, I think that's why this story um, rediscovering his future is one of those that I, I was sobbing because it was one of those um, beautiful second chance romances that you read that's almost like, duh, this is what a second chance is. This is um, Destiny's chance at love again, and this is Jackson's chance at love again. But Jackson has to really break down his rough edges. He has to break down his um, his emotions and for the loss that he lost. And he really was truly in love with his wife and his little girl. And with them not there and they're gone, a tattoo artist who's giving him these two beautiful tattoos on his body said, it's not cheating when they're gone because they're dead. And that right there, just like, damn, here's this guy kind of just calls it out on him. And then Jackson has to see what's in front of him. And he has to see if he's going to let this person into his life and if he's going to love it. And then when he finally sees it and with the emotions that he said, I was sobbing again because he really broke down those walls of those emotions and and showed destiny that he wants to he wants to love her and she is the one like he finally found love again and she found love for herself again and this is kind of like her ranch of what she's doing really kind of helps his healing process and I do believe that animals are an amazing healing thing like they know and for him to get be able to get back in the barn be with the horses and see the therapy with that it was one of those things like this is the healing 
And so this whole second chance, this is book one, two, and three I just reviewed. This is like a long review. They're standalones. I recommend them. Don't read them. Just to read three, then to two to one. Read one through three. They're, they're just beautiful books. And there's bikers, and there's romance, and there's a gruffness, and there's, there's suspense. And it's just, I'm so glad that Lydia Harbaugh got me hooked on Kale Myers because she's one of, she's an amazing writer and I can't wait to read more from her um, because she just has a way with words. She can write those bad boys that are really good boys too. So long review, I apologize, but I really want to get my words out to you guys because I just, I fell in love with this book, these books, one through three. Again, they're standalones, but you can read them together. Back to you later. Bye.